Hi there, today I've got another free tool for you. It's called Tetra and it is a hue shift DCTL. So this can be used to change the hues in your image. And because it uses tetrahedral interpolation, you can go really, really far without breaking the image. For example, if we want the grass in this image to be less yellow and more green, we can take the yellow hue slider and push it towards the right. And as you can see, we're not really affecting any other colors in the image at all. And now I can also increase the density of the greens. But if I do this now, you can see we're really only affecting the suit. And that is because before we started doing this, the only thing that was really green was the suit. And so the density only affects that suit. However, if we change the order of operations here to hue before density, then we can change the hues of these yellows and then affect all the greens in the image with the green density slider. On the other hand, maybe we want to affect the grass but not the suit, then we can still use hue before density but use the yellow density slider. And now as you can see, we're affecting all the colors that used to be yellow even though now they're green. And I think this is a really helpful addition to this sort of plugin where you can quickly change the order of operations without having to use two different DCTLs and switch the nodes around to achieve this. So let's look at another image in this, for example, maybe I like this scene, but I want it to look more like it's in autumn rather than summer. Then I can do the opposite and I can take the yellow hue and push it towards the left. And now it, we're literally just turning this into autumn. And I think it looks really beautiful. And as you can see, again, it's very, very clean. It doesn't affect the sky. It doesn't affect anything else in the image. It really only affects the foliage here. And maybe we want actually to push the blues in the sky a little bit more towards cyan. We can do that as well. And then maybe increase the density to get a little bit more out of that sky. And I think this is a really beautiful look. And as you can see, it was so easy to dial in and you can't really see any breakage in the image whatsoever. Again, this tool is free and it's now available from my shop.